you know, my goal always for women when they're dating is to create a series of <clears throat> dates only. Your only goal is to have a good time and practice new skills of relating to the opposite sex. To experiment. These are men who want you more than you want them. And and because as soon as you catch the diamond, you're going to go into all your old patterns of giving more than you're getting, uh, trying to be something that he'll like more rather than being your authentic self, sharing what you think, sharing your emotions and feelings about things that are bothering you that have nothing to do with him. And then when he wants to give you suggestions, if it's a good suggestion, you can say, well, that's a good idea. Or you can say, oh, I just need to talk about this. And then I feel so much better. And you talk about it <clears throat> for like no more than 10 minutes where you'll focus on something that's bothering you. And then you do this amazing thing and he'll be surprised. You go, oh, I feel so much better. I just needed to share that. And you're such a good listener. Thank you. And then you change the subject, you know, but you, you want to introduce to him that you are this emotionally fragile person. <laughs> fragile because everybody thinks you're fragile. I think it's just being human is that you have emotional reactions. You're not just a can-do woman, but you're actually vulnerable and things aren't perfect and things are frustrating, but they're not at a big, huge level. They're at a manageable level such that you could talk about it for like 10 minutes and then shift gears so easily. And you will, if you just say, you know, my key techniques are go from frustration to disappointment, to concerns, to embarrassment, and then talk about, but what I really like is, and then go into what you're grateful for and what you're, what makes you happy and what you're hopeful about. I'm so excited about, or I'm hopeful about, and I'm proud of. And the thing about for men is men are hungry to get inside of women. That's what called horniness is. <laughs> and emotions is the most feminine thing you can be. And the emotions that you don't share with others makes him more special. Okay. And we want to be special too. You'll share with me, but nobody else. All the things that you don't share with anybody, that's all just pushing down in your life, pushing down to have someone special that you share that with. And they can hear it and it's not a burden on them as long as you're not a burden and that you're sharing it because by doing it, you're going to feel better and be grateful to him for listening. In kind of the same way women pay me to be a therapist. <laughs> you know, they share their emotions and they give me money. Well, you don't give him money, but you just share your emotions, feel better, and thank him. And done job done. And he didn't have to say anything or do anything. And his tendency will always be to interrupt in the beginning. Oh, you shouldn't be frustrated about that. Oh, it's not a big deal. I just like to share the feeling that I feel better. And you take it. Take it not personally, like, don't you care about how I feel? And how could you want to interrupt me with your solutions? We all know men interrupt with solutions. That's what we do. And all you have to do is say, yeah, that's a good idea, but I don't need that right now. I just need to talk for a few minutes. And, and it's so nice. I just feel I can be myself with you. So authenticity is what makes women most attractive to men. And complaining when you're not getting what you want, you could say, well, that's authentic. I'm authentically complaining, <laughs> but that's not attractive to men. It, you have to think the key to it is think how is what I'm saying going to be heard by the other person? If you have one takeaway, well, now that I understand they're from Mars and their competence, their, their capability is success is the most important thing to them. How can I communicate in ways that are authentic to me that also communicate to him he's successful in being there for me. And so when he pulls away, we talked about that, certainly you're not gonna feel always oh, so successful in giving me what I want now. Yes, he is, because what you need, if we look at the doctor's medicine here, is you need time to depend on someone special and then time to depend on yourself, time to depend on your life, time to depend on your work, time to depend on your health. There's so many things in your life that you need to be doing that are not dependent on a man. And a man is your safeguard because he, if ever you get too dependent on him, you know the sign of that is insecurity, neediness, dissatisfaction, <laughs> unhappiness. You're too depending on him. That's a sign I need to pull away. And most men will have already pulled away 
because you're dissatisfied with him, he'll instinctively pull back because that means he needs to recharge himself because when you're depending on him, it was because he was there and he was there too much. See, we can become dependent on your approval and your appreciation and you're thinking I'm a great guy. We depend on you too much. See, 90% of my happiness has to come through my work and my, my own personal life. 10% comes from my special relationship. Mm -hmm. And same thing for women. I call it the 90-10 principle. 90%, you have to be, it's you, it's your life. And, you know, then you've got that extra 10% that could feel so good. Like, this is all I need. And then it will go south because you're depending too much on one thing. It's like, I have a lot of vitamin A, but not enough vitamin D. I'll get sick. Okay. So you're going to need to have your balance of all your different vitamins. Men are just one. Yeah. It's so beautifully said. And I loved the subtleties of the, the conversation of how we can share feelings in a way that the other person can hear. And I just think that's such a beautiful, beautiful skill. And it's so wonderful that you modeled so much of this for us in this conversation. It was so helpful, John. I really, really appreciate it. And I also want to just remind everybody about your wonderful book, um, Beyond Mars, Venus. And also, I want to also remind everybody watching or listening that we have a link to John's uh, site where he has a free relationship course. You want to just mention it just for a minute before we wrap, John? Sure. And Beyond Mars and Venus is like the update to Men Are From Mars and helping women understand, navigate the new challenges of being in a relationship, using a man to come back to her female side <laughs> and all about female hormones and understanding the cycle and so forth. And the class, which is free, is at marsvenus.com. And you go to that link and there's a class, how to get everything you want in your relationships. It's just the beginning. It gives you the direction. You don't get it right away. <laughs> but it's that starts you moving in the right direction. And we get rave reviews. People love it. It's very systematic and very straightforward. And we also have some other classes that are available at the website as well. Yeah. Thank you so much, John. It's always such a a privilege and a pleasure to be with you. And I know this audience loves you so much and we're so grateful for your contribution always. And we hope you have a wonderful time on your cruise and thank you for making it happen. Even though you're in the recovery, uh, <laughs> really, really appreciate your generosity so much. It means a lot. Thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. Thank you. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to check out John's, uh, free gift uh, using the link below and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye for now.